The Play Store, as we all know, is the go-to place for Android apps. However, Android is such an amazing platform that you can download alternatives, and in doing this, you'll discover new unique apps that the Play Store may not have or obtain updates faster. So I'll be showing you some of my favorites and explain why that App Store is so amazing. Now before I show off any of these stores, I wanted to make a quick disclaimer. Even though I do believe that all of these are secure, there's still a possibility that any of these stores could have a few sketchy hidden apps deep within the weaves. So before downloading any of them within these stores, make sure you carefully read the reviews and the app's description so you don't run into any problems. Also, I won't be showing off any markets that let you download paid apps for free because it's illegal and we should all be supporting our app developers anyway. Now before I move on to even more stores, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. The game is a brand new collection RPG game that is extremely popular. So popular that it almost got 10 million downloads in just 3 months. It has excellent graphics, strategic gameplay, huge boss fights, an amazing storyline, and over 400 champions for you to collect and personally customize. My favorite one is Skullworn because he just looks so scary and dope, plus his attacks are pretty powerful. My favorite thing about this game is that everyone can find something for themselves. Some love collecting characters, others are in love with the storyline, and some just enjoy the beautiful graphics. Personally, I love to see all the different attacks each champion has because each one has a unique skill. The game is free to play. You can enjoy PvP battles in the arena, PvE in dungeons, and experience cool colossal boss fights. It's a really entertaining game, plus it has over 200,000 reviews with an almost perfect rating in the Play Store. They also just got an update, there's also a new loyalty reward program for new players. You get a new daily login reward for the first 90 days in the game. And if you want to find my profile, my username is called HowToMen. If you're quick enough, you can even join my clan. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Good luck and I'll see you there. So let's start it off with XDA Labs. The popular XDA developers website created this app and it's an excellent store for downloading advanced root apps or crazy apps for customization. Some of the unique ones that I really enjoyed include Dark, which lets you force any app to become dark themed if you have a rooted Android Q device. Depth Check is a great way to see all of the specs information about your device easily, including the hardware, system, battery, sensors, etc. OH Private Browser is a great web browser app with privacy being the primary goal. The interface is quick, modern, and has amazing features such as an ad blocker, reader mode, dark mode, full screen, a PDF converter, and you can swipe down to bring down an entire page, which is great for one-handed use. NetGuard lets you block individual apps from accessing the internet in the background. It's great for privacy and can save you a bit of battery life. And those are just a few examples of the apps that I discovered while using XDA Labs. The great thing about this story is that a lot of these apps have an XDA forum page, so the developers explain their app in great detail. And the extensive discussions can give you an idea if the developer is still active, what kinds of bugs each app has, and how reliable each one is. However, it doesn't stop there. If you're rooted and use Expose Framework, then you'll be able to find a ton of Expose mods within this app, some of which aren't even within the default Expose Framework store. There's also a section to find the latest article postings from the XDA developer's website, and they have a random wallpaper tab as well. The second repository is called Fdroid. It's the most advanced store on this list. It's mostly for developers or advanced Android users. The great thing about this store is that all of these apps are free and open source. Plus the interface is really easy to use, it shows off all the latest apps on the front page, categories on the next tab, a nearby tab which lets you install apps from anyone who is connected to the same Bluetooth or Wi-Fi network, updates on the next tab, and settings on the last. Some of my favorite apps found within Fdroid include DNS66 to block ads on all of my third party apps through a VPN connection. Facelim is a light alternative to the heavy feature packed Facebook app. It uses less RAM, has a messenger built in, a dark mode, and extra settings that Facebook doesn't have. R, Android App Store, which shows every app listed from the popular Android subreddit. Red Room is an excellent filter app that protects your eyes while using the phone at night by applying a color filter over the screen. And of course, Adaway, which is the most popular ad blocker for Android, you just need to be rooted to use it. Next up is the Amazon App Store and it's the most popular alternative Android market because it's been around for a while. Personally, I don't use it because the majority of the apps on here can be found within the Play Store, but for whatever reason, if you're tired of using Google services, then you'll be happy to see that this is the best alternative to find most of the same apps, well at least the most popular ones. The only thing I don't like about this app is that they feature a ton of random crappy apps, so thank god they have a search function. Up to Down is fourth on this list, and it's also very similar to the Play Store since it has most of the same popular apps. 
I prefer using this over the Amazon App Store just because the interface is a bit more modern, it's easy to use, and it doesn't slam you with any random Amazon ads. This repository doesn't have any regional locks, you don't need to sign up or pay for any subscriptions to use this, and everything loads up quickly and downloads very quickly. My favorite feature is rollback, which lets you roll back to an older version of an app just in case the latest update keeps on crashing or has an annoying bug. Aurora Story is last on this list and it's the most beautiful store I've ever seen, and I think it may even look better than the Google Play Store in some aspects. It has a ton of apps that you can download quickly and you can update your currently installed apps. When you open one, the app's description page looks very similar to that of the Google Play Store. It provides screenshots, reviews, and more. Plus, I really enjoy that it lets you know if the app has trackers within it. On top of that, you can spoof your location and device info, and you don't need an account to use this store. It's a really great store that looks good and cares about your privacy. If you want to download it, you can find it on FDroid, or I'll leave a link in the description. Lastly, even though this isn't an app or a downloadable store, apkmirror.com is my favorite website to download the latest version of any app, even if it's in beta or alpha. So for Google Apps, this is perfect because Google usually updates their apps very consistently, and sometimes their latest version doesn't arrive right away for everyone. With APK Mirror, the moment an update is pushed out, it's available to download. If you want a more natural way to access the website immediately, just open the Google Chrome app, go to the website, tap the three dot menu in the top right corner, select add to home screen, select add, and then select add automatically. Now you can easily access the website straight from your home screen. Now before I sign off, I did want to recommend two extra apps for all of my app lovers out there. If you continuously find yourself downloading APKs that aren't on the Play Store, then you know how stressful it is to just keep them updated. Well, with APK Updater, it simplifies the process by finding the updates automatically on apkmirror.com, the Play Store, and APK Pure, and you can update all of your APKs immediately from within this app. It's a pretty awesome, underrated app. Another tool that I recommend isn't an app, but a Chrome extension for your desktop called Toolbox for Google Play Store. It's made by apkmirror.com, and it basically adds APK Mirror, Android Police, and AppBrain buttons to all of the apps on the Google Play Store website. It'll even let you know if an app has a beta program so you can join it. You should definitely install it if you constantly use the Google Play Store website. Anyways, that's it for this video. All of these links will be in the description. Let me know in the comments which Play Store alternative you enjoy the most. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and of course, get subscribed with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!